Hi there Wargamers, Dan, definitely a cane here with another um, Kings of War vlog episode. This um, time it's number four I believe. Yep, and today we're going to go in over the um, Fireforge Cave Mounted Sergeants and the Perry Miniatures Foot Knights. Um, uh, as no guesses, the Mounted Sergeants are going to be playing the part of Mounted Sergeants in my Kings of War army and the Foot Knights here are going to be playing the part of um, some Foot Guard which with double-handed weapons. So we're going to get rid of one of these these guys in a second and we'll go and have a closer look at the first one. Right guys, back in a second. Right, welcome back guys. Um, this uh, First off, we're going to look at the Mounted Sergeants. So let's have a quick, quick look at the packaging. Uh, some nice drab artwork there. Some um, sar Mounted Sergeants in um, Marching for War. Um, one thing to note, um, Although it looks like they've gone for license here, none of the houses is concluded in the box that you have barred in. Um, not really an issue to me anyway, but that's, that's by and by. So, have a look at the back of the box. We've got a nice um, piece of, well not, not artwork, but a picture of the um, guys painted and, bit, and built there. Zoom back out and a bit of uh, fluff text and also some other artwork of the um, boxes that are in the series. So, let's get this guy open and have a look at the sprues. And see what we get. Right then, so let's get that out of the way and have a, some kind of semblance of um, order. Through. So we get a nice uh, sprue of bases. This is for Kings of War. Uh, um, this is going to be Kings of War, so this is no use to me at the moment, really. I suppose could be an interesting use of some cavalry base or a 50 by 50 base if it uh, happened to need anything for that. But I'm using MDF. Anyway. That's not the point. Right, so back on to the um, review. So we've got um, a few horses sprues, which are, I believe we've got four. Yep, I can count, that's good. So let's have a quick look, close look at this, this one horse sprue, because they're all the same. So, it's a bit, bit closer there, so you can see the actually detail. So, oh, we're on, there's some really nice, nice detail there. Look, nicely detailed tails. Um, Interesting heads, more tails, um, lots of different combinations available here. So you've got three horses per sprue with different, you know, three halves and three heads. So lots of different combinations there. Again, we've got the um, mold on base, which is not I'm not a fan of, but that's not that's my issue and not yours. So I wouldn't worry about that too much, guy. So that's a look on that side. Looks like they'll be nice and easy to go together. Not too much cleanup required there, I don't think. I can't see too many mould lines. But then again, I'm not really looking too too closely. So, what else do we get? Well, we get some sprues of guys. If I just zoom out so you can actually see what the box contains. Now, these are looking to be the exact same sprues as the Teutonic Knights with um, different heads and different shields. So... Let's have a look. So we've got two sprues the same. Yep, so let's have a look at the different sprue first. So this is one with the some extra bits. So let's have a quick zoom in. So we've got some banner tops and banner banners here. So a nice horn there, which is a, a bit of a joke to me because the last lot weren't able to blow it in any way that I could think of. Um, some capes there if, if that's your thing don't know if i'll be putting those on me on mine because i'm just lazy and it's looking like the exact same bodies um of the teutonic knights but then again i suppose a, a guy in, an armored guy in horseback is an armored guy in horseback um again the same uh vet weapon variants as some nice hand hand weapons and some shield arms uh, big, love that. I still love that axe, even though I see it a second time I've seen it. Uh, some lances, some big um, is it a kite shield, I think they're called. Some with arms and some without. So let's uh, bring the other sprue back in. Um, mostly the same as the uh, first sprue, but this you get two of. So the main, the differences being are the, the size of the shields, which we just have a zoom in here. So I believe the size from the two tonic knights were uh, about the same size as these ones here that are on the command. Well, as I say command, so this is what we'll call it now. 
so the shields are a lot smaller on this one because they're um, sergeants as opposed to knights. Um, again, you get the same weapon options, but we do get some nice sergeant heads. Now these may actually be the same ones as in the um, foot, foot sergeants, which would make sense with them being sergeants. So nice bit of variation there in heads to keep your um, sergeants nice and varied. So I'm going to go off and build and paint these guys up um, and we'll be back in a bit with these ones. But first we'll be moving on to the foot knights. Right guys, welcome back. Um, it's time for the foot knights to get their little bit of attention. Um, as, as before, we're going to have a quick look at the um, box art. It's a nice little um, battle scene. Um, I think it's from, from the War of the Roses era. Um, don't quote me on that, I could be completely wrong. Um, anyway, you get 38 guys in there. Sorry, I don't know if I said, but you've got 12 um, mounted sergeants in the last lot, which I'm, I'm going to split into three troops. Uh, so you get 38 guys, I'm going to squeeze out two regiments from this, I think. So, let's have a quick look on the back. Some, some heraldries, I think this is on the, for the, for the um, command guy. Uh, assembly guide, and a nice uh, scale representation of the models inside. So, let's have a crack these open and have a look inside. I do like the sculpts from Perry's from one of these the Games Workshop stuff, so... This is a nice trip, will be a nice trip like down memory lane probably. So let's get the boring one out of the way first. I'll tell you what, we'll get the um, not so boring one. We get some nice heraldries again and some um, nice examples of painted units. Oh, and that's nice, and some banners. Some real banners. Uh, also, one thing to note the, this is on um, quite thick paper as well, so that's a uh, thick, glossy paper, so it'll be nice and easy to glue onto a, a banner pole. Um, some instruction. There, which could be quite could be useful, so we move that out of the way, and then we've got some um, bases, um, some various size bases. I've not, one there is even I've not seen the size of before. That's a very weird size one, that. So anyway, it looks like um, kind of like a cross between a cavalry base and a infantry and a twenty mil infantry base, which is bizarre to me, but probably for the game these are intended for was perfectly fine. But anyway, not going to be using that myself. So let's see what we get in here. So we've got just one command screw, I think. Yep, so let's have a look, close look on the camera at this one. Right, there we go. There we go, that's better. So, got this guy with some, um, a curse, is it a, I think it's called a surcoat. Again, don't quote me on that, I could be completely wrong. Um, and a guy with what appears to be some kind of weird tabard on or a dress <laughs> well that's just me so looks like he's got a, a guy here who put his drawing his sword a nice helmet there a nice head helmet there a sword only one a sword arm for something I think it's for the other half of the um I think this is your banner pole. So that'll be nice and interesting. Some some very varied guys for the units as command figures. So let's have a quick look at what we get in the other, the other sprues. Right guys, after that little, that little jump, um, you do get six of these sprues with six guys on each and lots and lots of vari various weapon options there. Let's zoom in to get a closer look at this. Right there we go. So we've got lots of uh, lots of plate mail. Is it plate mail or uh, plate armored plate or whatever the correct term is, guys? I'm sure someone can correct me in the comments below. So, so I'll flip over those guys and have a look down the line. Really nice looking guys. So let's have a look at the weapon options. So. Lots of varied double-handed um, weapon options. So, what well, some kind of mean um, long spear thing? A nice two-handed sword there. Some spare swords. A nice um, hefty-looking axe here, or is it halberd? I'm not entirely sure myself. 
a um, nice sword arm there. Not the same, well, same, not so similar sword arm. Got some um, off handed knives here, a, um, another sword arm. And down here we've got some head options. I'll zoom in on them in a second. Just going to go over the weapons first. <clears throat> another halberd arm. And uh, looking to be like a, a halberd top there. I'm sure it's probably, it looks like it goes on this guy's other arm here, like glue together. Yet another halberd. And some more one handed swords there. So let's have a quick look on either side. And I'm sure there's not much difference on from one side to the other. So let's have a closer look at the heads. Just right. Some really nice closed helms there. Oh, let's have a flip that guy over so you can actually see his face. Having said that, you can't really see his face at all. So it's not really his face. But I don't even know why that is, guys. <laughs> so anyway, carry on down the line. Some open helms, which is always nice. So all in all, a really nice looking kit. So that makes up 38 guys. I'm now going to go away and build these guys up into, um, and probably get them painted as well. And I'll be back in a bit. Which will be very quick for you, but probably a bit's quite a long drawn out process for me. And we'll get these into some units. Alright guys, back in a tick. See you soon. Welcome back guys. After I finally get all these bases chopped off and... Um, these models assembled is I've time to have a quick look at them uh, for you guys. Um, I'm really really liking the Perry Mitchell stuff. Really nice um, dynamic poses going on here. Closer look there. Loads of weapon options. Um, the only downside I saw is that some of them have got these kind of like tabards on them, and some of the arms have got um, sleeves on, so that limits the. Um, the sleeved arms to certain bodies and, and um, obviously some with two handed weapons there's only certain poses you can go for really but and but even the the guy here at the back um, this uh, this fella the arms uh, only seem to go on in a certain certain way so you're kind of limited in your poses which I suppose is good in a way but um, it's not it's not it's not it's not gonna uh, End end the world or anything like that, but it's uh, would have been nice to have um, a bit more range of movement in the arms. I suppose I could have uh, cut them up a little bit and uh, repositioned them slightly, but that would have taken more work, and um, we all know what we like. But uh, onto the the sar mounted sergeants, and it's amazing what difference um, a different style horse and uh, head makes to these models. It makes them look completely different to me. I mean, um, you wouldn't have known it was the same, exact same bodies as that are on the uh, knights, and set on the same arms because it, it looks strikingly different. And obviously, once the uh, once the paint, because even the, the shields are dramatically smaller. So lots of dynamic poses and lots of head options, which is always good. So guys, I'm going to go off and paint these these fellas, and we'll. we'll um, I'll see you in a bit when they're all based up and finished. Okay guys, see you in a bit. Welcome back guys, after another um, mammoth or a marathon or whatever you want to call it of painting sessions I have finally finished all these guys. Um, really impressed with the Perry, these Perry miniatures. At first I was a bit um, Oh, hang on. Let's, let's, let's stop the uh, shaky cam. There we go. At first, I was a bit um, annoyed that some of them had these little uh, coats on. Um, that uh, it did actually limit the the arm um, posability. So, so this this halberd here has a, a pair of sleeves on, so it could only, it could only go on a. Um, well, basically, it can go on the sleeve arms could go on any body, but the, obviously the the guys with the um, coats on the torsos couldn't have the um, uh, this arm, for example. They couldn't have they couldn't have this arm. So 
you would rather limit it so I decided to stick the guys with sleeves onto the guys with the torsos rather than the guys without um, uh, sleeves and oh, what do you call it all rub yeah without sleeves yeah that's what I was right, I was right with torso so, so. I, li I like this guy here he's kind of, kind of waving or directing guys to stop behind him I, I don't know but the the, the posability wasn't great with these, but they still look, they look still look right, really nice. I think because there was you kind of limited, obviously, with the um, most of them having two-handed weapons, where their arms can go. Um, or was, was, is there a disagreement going on there, guys? I don't know. Possibly. Then again, he might just be tripping over. But lots of nice poses. I decided to do something different with the bases as well. Don't think you can actually notice that one with this um, angle. Yeah, tell you what, let's try and tilt the movement tray up a bit. You may be able to tell there is a slight um, the the base is I've I've used modelling clay or air drying clay. I think there we go. That's a better better example. There you go. So the the base is all um, undulated up and down, lumpy and. Uneven like like uh, like a like a battlefield would be I, I'd Im I'd imagine anyway because obviously I've never never won a set foot on one myself, um, so I uh, tried that out. <clears throat> I had I had a slight issue of warpage. I managed to to rescue most of the bases I, I did, but I did lose a few. So um, I've, in future I've, I've been advised to prime the bases first before I use my air drying clay on it to. Limit the amount of moisture that gets in there. Should have really known that myself. But anyway, we'll have a look at look at the um, mounted sergeants. Again, these ones I was really impressed with. Even though the bodies were exactly the same as the Teutonic Knights, the the heads and the the horses make these look drastically different to the to obviously to the Teutonic Knights. Makes so much different that, that different different heads. Anyway, as as usual, I did a uh, three lots of troops here. Now this one you can tell is uh, on a bit of a mound there, so that's that's it. Blatantly obvious. I should probably have told you about that one and pointed it to it there. But really happy with how these came out. And the nice banners there. So that's another three troops of cavalry and two regiments or a foot guard with two hundred weapons or or a horde and a regiment and a troop, whichever way you look at it. Lots of options there. So as as per usual guys, I'm gonna do a little showcase section at the end of this video, just like like um we've well, seen in the previous ones. Um Drop a comment below of what you liked in this video, or anything, um, any any thing you didn't like about them. Um, I'm uh, I'm uh, open to um, criticism. If you did, if you really don't like this video, guys, and you hit the thumbs down button, that's fine with me, guys. But at least um, say say why you don't like it. But if you do like it, hit the like button. If you like, if you'd um, anything to say about the units or um, what I've done here, <laughs> drop a comment below. Um, yeah, any suggestions of what other units I could use for this kind of theme of army? Drop a comment below. All right, guys. If you haven't subscribed already and you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. You'll see more videos like this. There will be some more battle reports coming soon for those guys who have um, been asking for them. Um, Obviously, me and Spud are busy um, getting our armies ready for the tournament at the end of November. And um, at this rate, I should well be finish well before then. Alright guys, I'm going to go off and um, paint my next units. Alright guys, we'll be seeing you around. And watch out for the nice bit of showcase, guys. Alright, speak to you later, guys. Bye.